Arriving at Watchpoint Gibraltar. Attack. Select your hero. Amid discord, we will find tranquility. How many widows have you made? Roughly. I do not keep track. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm ahead. Fruition comes from within, as does failure. What? Bonjour. Master, how do you maintain your tranquility amid endless battles? I focus on my breathing. But you don't breathe. Five, Indeed. Four, three, two, one. Attack commencing. <laughs> oh. Repetition is the path to mastery. Victory. We're in this together. All of us. I'm on the payload! Get out of here! Ah! Railgun charge! Might have to adjust my approach. Well, to answer your question, Sun God. No time for games. Oh, I Let's have the game. Everyone relax. The name's Curtain. Damn. Our numbers. They've finally got a fair fight. One team. Dead or alive. Hitting the ground running. I'd have to adjust my approach. Hitting the ground running. Might have to adjust my approach. We're going against the odds. They won't quit, neither will I. What? 
am I missing? Roadhog time. Thirty seconds remaining. My We're almost out of time. Any new idea? I'm the last one you'll ever cross. Don't take kindly to be knocked down. We're outnumbered! I can prepare your defenses. Select your hero. We build a new world. Things were a lot simpler when I was robbing banks with the Deadlock Gang. A mech as flashy as yours will show up on every radar. That's just the way I like it. The world is a dream not yet realized. is a decent position.
okay, everybody. So, oh, watch kick me out. I show you guys probably soon. I'm just gonna switch it up. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. What an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. so tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain Seto's pen. What's it doing here? Naomi. Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <sighs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh, I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone.
it's too quiet. Maybe the rebel OSF and the Seiron garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sinet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. I'll do my best to find out what's going on, so hide somewhere until then. Kyoka, Kasane, did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. It looks like we can't do that, though. Might be more. Be careful. Kaguru? What is it? Did you see Kaguro? Yes. I saw him turn invisible and run to the OSF headquarters. Did he? We were fighting others, so there's no way he could have missed us. He might have been running from us. Why would Kaguro run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Hmm. The OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. I don't know if we can track him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. Weren't we told to hide? With others in the city, the only places we can hide are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along the way. That should help the citizens a little. Kagero should be with Yuito and the others, right? He might be on Karin's side. Regardless, we'll know if we catch him and ask him. group. Stronger. 
Good luck. What? The city's vision all went out at once. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions. So if you shut it down, everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer-generated signs. So this is what duds say. Duds? What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Seiron. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's no way. 
Then why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? OSF? I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the rebellion too? What do you mean by that? We were attacked by psionics on that road over there. Only rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait, were you the only ones attacked? No, Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. Hold them! They know about the Metamorphosis experiments! Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about Metamorphosis. And if he doesn't die here, maybe we can avoid that ruinous future. Chairman Sumeragi? Yes. The OSF. That's... Togetsu. This wound... It's too late. Wait, don't die! Can new Himuka turn people into others? I... Can't... Tell you. I'm serious! Answer me! It's too late for me anyway. Kasane? Huh? Yuito. Dad. Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. 
I'm here so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! It got me. Why? you're doing I guess it won't be that easy I'm not getting anywhere like this if I use the brain field then I could definitely get Yuito yes I should be able to do it I have to now I want to protect the world to save my sister I'll do whatever I need to do that I will kill him like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field? Kasane! I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane... Did you stab my father? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Attention. 
Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Sheedan if you want to escape. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with Sinet. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. New Himuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey, Kasane's getting away. Wait! Wait! Wake up, citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Seiron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Seiron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control, a revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Seiron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Kagero, you're from Togetsu and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Did Togetsu order you? I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, all right? Yes. Kagero, don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on to you. I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. Sorry, Kasane, for making you the fall guy. I didn't do it on purpose. For real. Forget that. Why did you assassinate Chairman Sumeragi? I can't believe someone from Togetsu would trust Seiron. Don't ask me, I just did what I was told. Maybe it's because my power is suited for assassination. I finally found you. Karin! Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. 
In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh? <gasps> you two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... so what are you all going to do? I... I plan to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn, to be honest, you really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron too. You'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi.
Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. All right. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not. But people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. I always thought you were suited for wet work. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting, hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! 
Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. I want to talk to Kyoka. visions. When they're this realistic, we can get the same experience as fighting actual others.
Yo, Kasane, coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on. What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been? Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes. I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just, I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. Gotta maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although, I could be reading into it too much. I think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. 
So Naomi is an other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes, I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So half really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck. Ugh. Looks like First Platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Karin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. <laughs>